another fine day. Well, a little low on B&B. &B. So, no cooking until I get some more. I think I'll head on over to my uh, favorite Ace Hardware. It's like a super-sized store. It's a little bit across town. Maybe I can pick up some more B&B. &B. Uh, I've been kind of curious. I see that they have like maybe four or five different brands. You know, like a, this is Mesquite, but then they have, you know, other choices and uh, I don't know them all so I'd like to take a look so uh, I hope you don't mind we're gonna go for a road trip talk to you in a bit in fact let me just show you where we're gonna go we're gonna head over there way off in the distance so if I can get my finger into the camera yeah right off over there into the gray part so uh, that'll take about 28 minutes and we'll uh, see what they've got let's get in the car and head on off to the hardware store let's take off and get down to dale's hardware and pick up some lump coal i think it's going to be a great day today okay let's get it over to take me to dale's hardware fremont And it's now calculating our route. Bingo! All right, we're on our way. Hey, I'm here. Let's see what they got in their way of B and B coal. Okay. Well, I didn't find B and B, but I did find Lazari. Uh, this is a local company that is uh, obviously in the lump department. And I know for a fact I've had smaller bags of this. It's excellent. It's made here or packaged here in San Francisco since 1908. I can guarantee you that is not that old. So anyway, I'm going to take three 20-pound bags of that home and uh, give it a go. Just thought I would share the fact that I found something that I didn't expect to find. That's a good, a good upgrade. Okay, we're home, so let's get this stuff unpacked. Well, we're back. And we've got the charcoal here. Well, that was a fun little trip. I'm glad that you guys came along. Um, it was a good day all around. Hey, uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, share uh, some future plans that I have with, the, with, the, with this channel. I'm going to do a... Uh, a giveaway. Uh, more on that later. i got to work out some details and when I get that done then I'll make a little clearer announcement on it. But I just want you to know it's coming. And the other thing that was kind of uh, amusing to me was that on the way back from the store I ran into a couple of friends that I pulled over and talked to and everything was great. They're, they're doing well through all this virus stuff and everything else. But they asked me how I was feeling. I said, great. And I said, why? And they said, well, you, you look like you've been sick. And I said, well, what do you mean? And they said, well, I, I look really thin in the face. And I said, oh, I've been losing weight, but I haven't really been telling people. So before I get a lot of people concerned, because it's starting to show, uh, I've been cooking vegetables because I can say that I've been trying to lose weight. And I've been doing pretty good with that. I haven't really shared it, but that's what this moment now will be. Uh, I've been almost losing a half a pound a day, and uh, I haven't yet called it my Master Build 1050 diet, but uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I just had actually a milestone uh, weight breakthrough where I went through 190 pounds. I'm now 189 pounds. And uh, my goal is to 175, so I've got about 14 more pounds to go. So I suspect I'm at that point now where I'm going to start looking a little more gaunt and a few things like that, which tends to happen when you're using, you know, losing a considerable amount of pounds. And then finally, once I get down to that level, then I'm kind of looking forward to doing some uh, meat cooks on this and, and going forward. So uh, anyway, so no, no problems, no, nothing to worry about. So I hope you had fun uh, coming along with me down to the store. Uh, lucky I was able to, I, 
I had no idea that I would get this. I, the last time I bought one of these, it was I think it was almost a five pound pack, and here's this is 20 pounds, and uh, it's it's all real wood. It's not like pressed into briquettes, or at least I I'm pretty sure that that's what this is. Yeah, it says better than briquettes, so I'm assuming this is like real lump coal, and uh, really looking forward to cooking with that. So this is a San Francisco institution. It's been around a long time. So uh, I'm going to sign off and say, until we cook again, thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, looking forward to the time that we have something new to post again. And if you can, how about a thumbs up? Thank you very much. Take care.